Today, we are talking about something that I've never used in my photography career until this year. And what is that, might you ask? Well, it's this guy. This here is an ND filter. And ND stands for neutral density. Essentially, what that means is that once you put it onto your camera or lens, it'll turn down your brightness in a sense. And what do you use them for? Most notably, they're used for long exposures. So you can put this on and you can have set settings for your waterfall. So if you want to get that nice, smooth water going through, you can pop these one of on so you can use your same settings without having to overexpose your shot. You can use it for standard photography. You can use it for standard videography, cinematography, same thing. But you can just put this on mainly used for the daytime. So you don't want to put these on around night time, closer to the sunset. You can if you like, if you want to get that nice, crisp, dark, kind of moody sunset, but these don't work. <laughs> I realized that all in Melbourne that you shouldn't have these on all the time. I thought that these would make my photos and videos better, and they did to a certain extent uh, in the day, but once it became night, it just went, there's no point for this, like I might as well just have this off. This type of ND filter is a variable ND filter. This is by Polar Pro, uh, collaboration with Peter McKinnon, his signature edition. This isn't a strict review on his, this is just talking about me experiencing ND filters for the very first time. What a variable ND filter does is essentially you can control how many stops your ND filter goes down. So usually with ND filters you get set one, so you get maybe ND64, ND8, ND32, I'm trying to think here, but essentially what that means is you're getting either two stops of light down, three stops of light, five, seven, nine, ten. This guy here is only a two to five stop, so this is mainly just used for your everyday type of thing. That's what I was aiming for when taking this to Melbourne and to F1 specifically. I want to be able to get some nice smooth photos of the cars going by while having without having to overexpose my shot so that's where this beauty came in if you've seen the a moment of relaxation uh, short film that i did just a nice little calm travel one that i did with me and flick we just went around i took some photos i took some videos as well and i had this nd filter on because i wanted to essentially make a short film with this ND filter on. I wanted to see what I could do. Did it look okay? Did it look any different? No. But bear in mind is that I have these set settings when I shoot either 24 frames or 60 frames per second or 50, 25, you know, the Australian or American type, whichever it is. But I have these set settings that may or may not get overexposed when I'm out in bright daylight. So. I lower my ISO, but then it may be too dark. And I'm like, oh, well, I have to crank it up a little bit, but then it ends up being overexposed. So that's where the ND filter comes in. So I can just screw that guy on, and then I can have my set settings to the way that I want it without having to change anything. And then off I go. So here is a photo that I took of Felicity. So one photo is without the ND filter, and one is with the ND filter. I want you to see if you can tell. I'll give you five seconds, but you could probably guess it in the first one second because one's brighter and one's darker. Now, when you put that into Lightroom, you have to do a lot more editing to be overexposed instead of you know the nice, properly exposed photo. That just saves you time going into photo editing. And it'll be the same for video editing as well. It gives you so much ease when you're putting everything into your timeline and then looking at all your coloring and go, yes, this is perfect. Nothing looks overblown. I can, if it's still overexposed a little bit, you can easily change it. But this, this came in handy. I love it. Uh, will I use it when I go out in the day? Yes. Now, this is just a little in depth into Polar Pro's uh, version of it. Uh, many other have their own way of doing it, but what I do like about Polar Pro and Peter McKinnon's collab is that you don't have to touch the ND filter at all. Obviously you can when you need to clean it, but 
The way to put it on is just immaculate. So if you've never seen these before, if you've watched many reviews, you can skip past this, but if you haven't, watch. <laughs> so first, so you take that guy off. That's the guy there. Look how sexy that is. The golden, the golden Peter McKinnon. <laughs> and then, you might go black for a second, but... And look at that. Now, that is with an ND filter on at two stops. So, it obviously looks black right now, but let me just crank <laughs> my editing up. I'm gonna have to play with that in the end, but this is what, that's what an ND filter does. It, it's a bit too dark when you use it in interior stuff, but it can obviously work depending on what settings you're doing. If you have bright lights, you know, you may, it may work with this. See, it's only, it's only, <laughs> does only a little bit. But essentially, I don't have to touch the ND filter at all, so that saves all the fingerprints and having to clean it excessively and you know, trying to screw it off. So, you know, these little things that Polar Pro has done, amazing. Thank you for it. Now I've got to take this off now. There we go. So that is the ND filter. I've never used them before. I don't know why. I mainly just invested in the polarizer because I do automotive stuff. So I wanted to you know, look nice in a sense, but I'm glad I've invested in an ND filter. It's, I think it's made my photos a bit better. In my opinion, it's made editing a lot easier and you know, getting the correct settings for what I want to shoot. So if you see any more future short films, videos, vlogs, whichever, nine times out of 10, I'll probably be using an ND filter. Depending on what you're doing, depending on what photos you're capturing, depending on what videos or films you want to make, an ND filter will be perfect for you. There are many versions. Um, it doesn't matter on quality. They will all do the exact same thing. I know Polar Pro have some mist diffusion ones as well to Kind of spice up your videos a little bit more but nine times out of ten they'll either just be your standard nd filter or they'll be your variable nd filter when you do have fun uh, that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed this i am trying to get back into these videos because i have been on holidays and i have just been taking a little break for a bit but hopefully i can make a little bit more and actually get some art out there for you people. So thank you all. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.